find the equation of a line that passes through two given points. The goal of this tutorial is to be able to answer a question like the one on the screen right here. Find the equation of a line that passes through the points 3, 4, and 5, 8. For a full um, web page on this topic, including um, extra practice problems and a free worksheet that you can download, visit mathwarehouse.com slash equation line. Okay, let's begin. Let's think about what we're trying to get. We are trying to get an equation of a line, and we're going to write that in slope intercept form, which looks like this if you y equals mx plus b. And m stands for the slope, b the y intercept. And so we need to get the numbers that would go in for m and b to give us the equation of a line. All we know are these two points. Now we can find the slope using these two points. If you remember how you calculate slope, or m, it's just the, the rise over the run, the change in y over change in x, or maybe you learned it as y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. However you do it, it's going to boil down to subtracting the y's and putting them on top, 4 minus 8, subtracting the x's and putting them on the bottom. Remember, if you start with the 4 for the y, you have to start with this, that point's x value on the bottom. So we started with a 4 here. We have to start with a 3 here, 3 minus 5. 4 minus 8 simplifies to be negative 4. 3 minus 5 is going to be negative 2. So a negative over a negative will simplify to be a positive. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So f our slope is 2. So just given these two points, we know that our line is going to have a slope of 2. And we're halfway there. We have the slope. So step one to these kind of problems is to calculate the slope using our two lines and then substitute it in for m and that's where we are right now. Now we have to find the y-intercept or b. We know that the line we're trying to find passes through 3, 4 and it passes through 5, 8. So we should be able to substitute either of these points as x and y values into the x and y in the line, its equation, and, um, and that equation will be true. In other words, we can take 3 and 4, or 5 and 8, either one should work since they're on the line, and put them into our equation, and we can find b that way. So let's use 3 and 4, they're smaller numbers, why not? All right, so y or 4 equals 2 times 3 plus b. All right, we're in a good situation now. We've got one equation, one unknown, we can solve for b. 4 equals 6 plus b. B. Okay, now we have our y-intercept, or b, so we can put that into our equation, and we have the equation of a line. That goes through these points, that goes through uh, both these points. Now, just to show you, you could have used this point here at this stage. Like we had y equals 2x plus b. You know, we could have used 5, 8. Or it'll get, it should give us the exact same equation, since this point is also on the line, just like 3, 4 is on the line. So if we put in 8 for y, and then the 5 at the x, we should get 8 equals 10 plus b. Yep, we again have a b of negative 2. So just to recap before we try another problem, we want to get our equation to look y equals mx plus b. And the first thing to do is to find the slope. You just do that using your, your slope formula, rise over run, change in y over change in x. Once you have the slope, substitute that in. So you, you end up with, in this case, y equals 2x plus b. Then you can use either one of these points, substitute it in, to get our y-intercept. Alright, let's try 
one more, at least one more example here. Okay, let's find the equation of a line that passes through the point 4, 5, and 8, 3. All right, if you remember, the first thing that we're going to do is calculate the slope. We're looking for y equals mx plus b, and we're going to first find m, our slope. m equals change in y, 5 minus 3. If you start with the 5 on the top, you got to start with the 4 on the bottom. 4 minus 8, 5 minus 3 is 2. 4 minus 8, negative 4. This simplifies to be negative one half. Substitute that in for m. And you have y equals negative one half x plus b. And remember, you can use either one of these points at this point to find our y-intercept. Well, let's use four or five. Again, I'm going to stick with the smaller numbers, four and five, a little smaller than the eight that we have to deal with here. But either one would work. All right, so just substituting in. 5 equals negative 1 half 4 plus b. 5 equals negative 2 plus b. Solve for b. And the last step is just to write the whole the equation out. y equals negative 1 half x plus 7. That's the final answer here. Let's try one more practice problem. Let's find the equation of a line that passes through the coordinates 1, 2, and 5, 10. So remember, we are looking for the equation in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And our first step is to find the slope, change in y on the top, 2 minus 10, and 1 minus 5 which is going to give us negative 8 <clears throat> over negative 4, which will simplify to be positive 2. If you remember now, we substitute this in. y equals 2x plus b. And we can use either points to get our b. Let's use the nice small numbers 1 and 2. So 2 equals 2 times 1 plus b. And this is going to simplify to 2 equals 2 plus b and as you can see b is going to be 0 so our final equation is y equals 2x plus 0 or just y equals 2x remember you can always double check your work at the end did you do it right you can substitute you should be able to substitute either numbers either pair of numbers into your final equation so does 510 lie on y equals 2 6 yep if you put 5 in for x, you're going to get a y of 10, and the same thing for 1, 2. That's it for finding the equation of a line through two given points. Uh, feel free to visit the website to get um, extra practice as well as um, a free worksheet that you can download and, um, and practice more on your own.